Nice to see you again. Nice to see you too. We met briefly backstage at the Apollo Theater when Conan was yeah. in town. I marked out pretty hard. I'm sorry. You what? I marked out. I like. What's mark out? Uh, I I don't know. I just like I'm doing right now. Um, <laughs> Is that only, blacking out? No, I just kind of blank out. I don't know. Only you and Harrison Ford have ever done that to me. Really? Yeah. And like I don't know what I said, but you like came and stopped by the room, and I just started talking. And I'm like, what am I saying? And like, no. And this, the word vomit kept coming. And I'm like, oh, you're making it worse. And then you invited me here, so I did all right. Thank you. <laughs> you did. You did. But I get it. Harris and I are very, very similar. <laughs> but I'm not surprised you're, 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 you mark out uh, for <laughs> Harrison uh, Ford because people know Ronda Rousey, the fighter, but they don't know Ronda, the, the stormtrooper. There you are. And wh where is this? Where were you doing this? Um, I was going to the Force Awakens premiere because I love being anonymous. Like, any time I have a chance to be anonymous. Oh, man, that's fantastic. So you get to go see the movie, and it's reasonable to dress up a stormtrooper, and then you don't have to worry about people going, look, it's Rhonda, take a photo. I thought it was reasonable, but apparently it's not because I showed up at the theater, and they were like, no, you're going to shoot. Like, there were, like, mass shootings at a theater, so they were like, no, going into the theater with masks. And then, really? Yeah, so I had to be like, tell the guy, like, no, I can't, I can't take the thing off. I got, please. And then he was like, um, can I talk to somebody? And he called like security over. And he was like, why don't you take the mask off? And I took it off, like, huh? Like that. And he went, whoa, oh. oh, okay. And he like ran and grabbed like 15 managers and then like snuck us in the back. But we had to take the masks off. They weren't allowed. Wow. Yeah, they waited till like the lights were off and snuck us in. And then did, did you get mobbed? No, nobody knew. I, like, it was so funny because we were walking around and. Star Wars costumes, and everyone kept going, Star Wars, whenever they saw us. So we came into the theater, and they only saw us as the people in costumes they wouldn't let in. So no one knew it was us. Lights were off, and we walked in, and everyone just started applauding. They're like, Star Wars, yeah, they let in the Stormtrooper. Like, so it was are, cool. you, are you a longtime fan of Star Wars, or are you a bandwagoner now? No, I was, uh, I was a fan when they like, re-released it like in 97. Sure, sure. Like, uh, brought it back into theaters. Right. Um, I cried my eyes out and had nightmares when I found out like Luke Skywalker's dad was Darth Vader and cut his hand off. I felt really bad about his hand getting cut off. It was yeah, a yeah. big deal to me. Yeah, imagine how he felt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I used to, like, my stepdad had him, like, on VHS, and I would just watch him, like, over and over. Well, you remember you put the tape over the little square, and he would, like, record it? Like... Yeah, of course. Yeah. Like, Wait, did you record over his copy of Star Wars? No, he had, like, the original, original ones before, like, the re-release. Oh, and so you would copy it. You engaged in, in, uh, video piracy. No, he did it. And I, I just actually benefited. should arrest you right now for no, what you're describing. No, 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 no. I mean, you could try it. Sure. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I said, you forgot. I said to you backstage at Conan that I'll invite you on the show as long as you promise not to kick my ass. That's true. Standard waiver for all my guests. Giamatti had to sign it too. Lucky for you, my ass kickings are very expensive. Well, uh, you faced off against sharks recently. Now, this is something I have a couple of fears. Uh, spiders, not a huge fan. Uh, heights, not a huge fan. But you're down in the corner of this photo, but look at who you're making friends with. Yeah. Right there. That's Big Mama the, the bull shark. That is a, the bull shark. Her name's said, Big Mama, and I hand fed her. But bull, bull sharks are man eaters. They will they'll eat, take your arm right off. Well, in like a different situation, yeah. I mean. Yeah, yeah. sure, right. Only if you're in the water with them. No, I'm serious. Sharks are friends. They're not food. I, I promise. Like, imagine walking up to like a lion on like the savanna and like going and petting it and like handing it some meat and jumping back in your jeep and you're fine. Like, that's what I did. No, absolutely. Do not imagine that. <laughs> don't listen to her. That's terrible advice. Kids, don't get out of the Jeep and hand no, a I lamb said... chop to a lion. That was my analogy for why sharks are safer than lions. Oh, okay. <laughs> sure. Yeah. Did you say pet the lion? Yeah, because I pet the sharks. You, you pet this shark? Where do not you pet a shark? One. Where do they like to be uh, petted? Well, uh, the, I was in free diving with a blue shark and a mako shark at the same time. And so the blue shark, when it comes to you, you can just kind of like wax it off and like push it somewhere else. Sorry, but you can do what? You wax off. You do like the karate kid motion. Okay. To like just suggest like maybe you should take a right, you know? It's a good idea. And then, but the mako shark has like teeth coming out sure. of its face. So what do you so do there? So it has just a little tiny like cheek area where you can like maybe suggest with a little stick like maybe take a right, you know? Who, who found this out? Who found out the places on a shark where you can stroke them and it's all good? Uh, I don't know, but my coach throughout this process was Paul DeGelder, and he's missing two limbs. So I think he's part of figuring it out. 
He really helped me. I mean, obviously that's I mean that's bad for him. I feel I feel bad for him. I don't want to make light of that, but major limbs? Like Yeah, it was like basically like one side. But like <laughs> He's the most amazing guy ever. I swear to God. And this like, is the guy whose advice you're taking. I was taking to... his advice. Yeah, it's fine. Is he, does he have an accent? Is he from the United States? Yeah, he's like got that like Australian South Africa. Oh, like, is that? Kind of okay. Like, yeah. Right, it's fine, darling. Just stroke the shark on the side. Yeah. <laughs> well, the new movie <laughs> is called Mile 22. You play a CIA operative. How how do you how do you? I mean, you're you're known to train to prepare yourself for for fights. How do you how do you personally prepare yourself to be in a movie like to play a part like that? Uh, well, uh, Pete purposely didn't want me to be recognizable as me. So, this is the director? Yeah, Pete Berg, and he, uh, he didn't want me to do any hand-to-hand -hand fighting. He wanted to do other things like shave my head, but for uh, other things like hand, he didn't want me to do fighting. Did you shave your head for this? I didn't. Thank you, Pantene Pro V. Strong is beautiful, save my hair. Um, <laughs> oh, because you have, you actually, you're a spokesperson and they don't, you can't sell shampoo if you got a cue ball. I told him, I was like, I make more money for my hair than this movie, so the hair wins. <laughs> 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 but he, uh, he had us training in, like, an abandoned hotel with a Navy SEAL and an Army Ranger training us, like, the whole cast with uh, real guns and blanks. Which, which scares you more, uh, uh, playing with uh, even fake guns or sharks? Um, depends. What kind of shark? There's, like, really cute sharks. <laughs> There's some adorable guns. <laughs> Rana, thank you so much for being here. Nice to thank see you. you. Mile 22 is in theaters August 17th. Rhonda Rousey, everybody. We'll be right back.